So the two umpires for the day are making their way out to the middle. Achman and Dubai, both these teams are looking for a win. And one of this side is definitely going to go and walk away with those two points. And he's done well. He'll be bowling to Sandeep Singh Sandy. First ball itself, he's played that high up in the air. Fielder just uh, might not reach there in time. And two more. So Sandeep Singh Sandy has uh, played that uh, first ball high in the air. Not in complete control, but will get two runs. Using his feet, slower delivery from Harsh. Not a bad ball, not a bad option as well. But this time, Sandeep Singh Sandy has played that in the gap. And he's got four runs. Oh, excellent line, but uh, equally well played by Sagar Kalyan. Trickles it down towards fine leg for four. As this time, uh, Sandy has tonked that one. It's over the deep mid-wicket fence for six. What a shot that. Tossed up delivery, not where he intended to play. Ball is running away towards uh, deep point. Excellent effort, but uh, won't be able to stop that. Harsh Bovade continues from uh, pavilion end. Slow one on one knee goes Sandy. It's high and out of the park. Again in the slot. Uh, again, he's played that up in the air. But this time, the fielder is there waiting for that catch. And Ramiz Shehzad will not drop those. That's a wicked revenge time for Harsh Bobde. After being hit for a six, he gets his man. Was in control to play the strokes. Look at that. Trying to clear the infield. Couldn't connect it well. And excellent take by uh, Ramiz there. The edge of the circle. Now that was... Uh, a ball to be hit, but Sandeep missing that chance, that opportunity. 25 of 13, a start and an end for that innings. A quick one. First wicket down for Ajman. Manning the boundaries. There we are talking about that shot, that area that belongs to Sagar Kalyan. He missed a few deliveries, but this time he's uh, played right from the meat of the bat. Well, bangs and shot, a pull shot coming in. Magnificent. But uh, couldn't get the distance required. Got that bounce. And it was right from the middle of the blade, but uh, it was the longest part. Straight into the hands and is gone. That's good bowling. It was way outside off and he pulled it from there towards uh, the square leg boundary and a very good catch there in the end by Harsh Bobde. He has been uh, in the game. You can't keep him, keep him out of it. But Sagar Kalyan, he'll have to walk out after scoring 13 of 14. That's the second wicket down for Rajman. The score is 39 for two. Outside off stump. Yasir Kaleem, he doesn't need a second invitation. He can hit those in his sleep, Yasser. ITW production. Oh, he's bowled him. Ali Nasir, you beauty. You beauty, Ali Nasir. Bowled a maiden first over. And then the rarest, rarest of sights has beaten the outside edge of Yasser Kaleem. You don't see that very often. In terms of bowlers, that he has pitched it in the right line. Look at that. Just with a straight bat. Not enough to come back. And uh, off stump, disturbed. Well, Yasser Kaleem has been beaten by a delivery. Jimmy Anderson would have been proud of. Six runs for his seven. 49 for three now, Ajman, in a bit of bother. I think they will probably get two or three in a cluster. Hit very straight, very straight. Is it running away? Yes, it is. Punya Mera diving to save that ball, but unstanden. There you go, the classy quick delivery, running down the hill, four runs, lucky four. Toss step delivery and gone. It's a it's a googly from Farooq, and the invitation was on. Clean bold, a googly missed it completely, and the stumps are disturbed. So that is the end of Anshtandan Farooq Moman strikes. 
and uh, it is the fourth wicket down for Ajman, 73 for four. One for 18, his figures, as he comes in and bowls, super shot that from Hamid, dispatches it past that point fielder for four, Well, is concerned. Slower delivery, waited for it, played up in the air, just falling short of the fielder at covers. He did try to take that catch. Kena tossed up delivery in the air, but over the backward point fielder. Long chase for uh, the deep fielder. He won't get there. Four runs. Mohamed Farouk continues from the other end. And what a way. What a way to greet him. Excellent shot. Slightly quicker on the backward. Cuts it. Cuts it hard. No chance. Four more runs. That was a poor delivery from Farouk. He's anchoring. As he comes down the track, he heaves it high and over the long on fence for six. Excellent use of the feet. Given not out by the leg umpire. Oh, well, he is not needed this time. The leg umpire. Ijaz Ahmed is the lucky charm for Dubai. He's come in, he's picked up the mic and they've gotten the wicket. Welcome, Ijaz. Following the ball rather than cutting it. Well, yeah, this is one of the problems with Shah Nawaz. Just tries a bit too much at the crease. A busy hustling player. He was looking good. 20 of 17. Sure. Hamid Khan. Hamid Khan. He's going on his merry ways. He's gotten a lot of opportunities. Some catches dropped. 41 in 18 deliveries. All again in the air. This time it's in the gap. Pierces the mid-wicket fence. The umpire Umar Farooq signals 4. Oh, it's in the air again. But this time, nobody's going to drop that because it's right in the gap. It's gone for a maximum and Hamid Khan has scored his maiden D2050. What a knock. Short delivery. It's in the air. It's in the air. And it's gone for four. A nothing shot. But the result is in the favor of the batsman. They will not be having anything left. There you go, he's down the wicket, gone area, six runs. Well, that's trademark, trademark Mohammed Azhar. In the end, nothing shot, but it brings Hamid Khan on strike. And it's gone in the air and in the gap as well. A good effort there by Shamim. Almost took out our cameraman. Another full toss, this time gets the outside edge. Are they going to look for two? No, they're not. Keeps it down to one. Another good over. Very good spell from Ali Nasir. 21 conceded of his four. And a wicket. But this is a massive mammoth total by Ajman. 169 for the loss of just five wickets in their allotted 20 overs. Yes, exactly. There you go. Top order. Sagar Kalyan and uh, Sandeep getting all together. Good partnership. But uh, then the things are starting a little bit down. After the power play, then 66 runs from Hamid Khan in 31 deliveries. And uh, Azhar having a cameo of 16 in 14 deliveries. So, 12 extras with uh, 169 with a loss of 5 wickets that has been posted here. The bowling card, well, other than Ali Nasir, who bowled a maiden and picked up a wicket, going at only 5.25 and over, everybody gone for runs. Ankur Sang won without a wicket, 38 in his four. Harsh Bob day 33. One wicket for him. Shamim Ali, one wicket for him as well. Mohammed Farooq, who picked up two wickets, was very expensive. And what you don't see on that scorecard, back with this Dubai run chase, they will need 170 runs to win their first game. We'll be back in the SkyExchange.net. Emirates D20, powered by Fine Court. Don't go anywhere. So there you go. Two umpires making their way out to the middle. Match number 11. Yeah. So they have uh, a certain plan in their minds. And they have to execute it. Ranak Panoli, the skipper, though he hasn't impressed really. Three matches, just two runs. First delivery, excellent stuff that. What a ball, what a delivery to start off the proceedings. Comes down the track and gone. 
you need to respect the bowler for sure comes down the track and says it turned yes <laughs> it turned yes excellent delivery what a time for the team and look at that he was just out of his crease trying to play as straight but uh, technically not for not good enough he will have to depart back Surya Singh one and it's one for one Ah, uh, excellent looking stroke that. Maybe the first in the tournament from the bat of Ronak. He comes down the track, it's in the air. Clears the infield. Four runs. Hold on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Line as he comes in and bowls this one. It's in the air. And uh, over the top for six. Well, that has been beautifully launched. This time, bottom hand coming into play. Four more runs. Expensive over this from Azhar. Well, what a shot that. One bounce over the backward square leg fence for four. Excellent play. Yes, sir, you. As Sultan comes in and follows the batsman, drifting down the leg stem wide and four runs. So five extras. You would have, you would have, you would have chased around 130. And that's another wicket. Ramesh Shahzad trying to go for the glory shot, stepping down the track. But Sultan Ahmed bowls that one quicker delivery, missed by Ramesh Shahzad, but not by Yasir Kaleem. And he has to walk back. A well, big, big wicket this. Sultan Ahmed keeps his cool. Ramiz charges down the track. Yasir Kaleem, with that fancy headgear, would have been a bit unsighted. But he's calm and cool behind the stumps with his gloves. 23 of 17 deliveries, 49 for 2 now, Dubai. Oh, that's a beautiful swing. Well played, Ronak Panoli. That is a brilliant shot. And I'm mighty impressed with the way he's expressed Oh, he's bowled him. Well, Mohammad Azhar, he's recovered. That was a celebration of relief more than anything else. Just dropped Ronak Panoli in the last over. Yes, Azhar getting that wicket quicker and uh, the ball hitting his pads and then crashing onto that off stump. Unlucky, but Ronak Panoli scoring 30, walking back. There you go, just use the feet, deep mid wicket, into the hands. That's the catch and he's happy because at one stage we were expecting that might be another drop but uh, Kalyan has just taken a good catch. Ball was turning, look at that, comes down the track, it was way outside the offstem and he was turning into the batsman with the turn he played. As I said, it's very difficult to pick a slow delivery and that too outside the offstem. And he had to pay the price. Farooq goes for 12 and 88 for 4, Dubai. Yes, you're right. Because what I've been watching here, good shot. Excellent shot. He has picked up the space. He knew that. Long on is pretty wide to a deep mid wicket. And he has uh, picked up that spot towards long on. Getting 4 runs. Beautiful. There you go. He's going towards offside. Safe. Safe and safe. So the wicket here for Nasser, the second for him. And he has been rewarded for his beautiful bowling. Keeping a tight line towards offside. He was trying to play a different shot. Look at that. The very f same delivery that he scored a boundary. It was the same line, same length. And this time around he was eyeing that extra cover. Because of which he couldn't time it. And uh, top half of the bat was in contact. Punia Mehra goes for 22 and Dubai 98 for 5. Toss that delivery. Comes down the track. What a shot. Over the top for six. And what a way to welcome uh, Abdul Rahman and Shaib in the com box. 64 of 27, but just five wickets in hand. That's gone high and straight into the hands. And that equation is getting even more difficult with every falling wicket. This is wicket number six. Ali Nasir will have to walk back and Shanavaz. Gets another wicket.
well amit khan has clearly disinfected his hands he is not caught that virus of catch is dropped an easy catch taken ali nasir two runs of four deliveries for him 106 for six now dubai in a lot of trouble of course the fielding has not been up to the mark oh that's a beautiful hit from shival what a great hit that is a humongous hit and azhar knows that shival has definitely announced himself with that shot well i'm sure we'll have to ask the think tank of dubai that question harsh bob day what a shot unbelievable cover drive against the left arm spinner nonetheless and he gets a boundary this is a big big over has made a good comeback in this team full delivery going towards the leg side races to the square leg boundary for four shival baba still on the move he still believes nicely played and straight into the hands he did middle it but did not have the distance nor the elevation and unstanden was waiting there for that catch easy as it gets and that is another wicket down a very entertaining innings from shival comes to an end but i'm sure this young man has a bright future well absolutely and there's one man on the field who will not have any butter on his hands is that man there unstanden safe as houses very good catch shival baba take a bow top knock 23 of 16 with two maximums a very very healthy strike rate but he could not take his team through 129 for 7 now dubai this will definitely help yorker to finish off very very well bowled there by nav and a comprehensive win for ajman the bottom of the table clash is over and ajman has got one over dubai big big victory this 28 runs in the end the margin well then that's the match summary match number 11 match number 2 of today ajman 169 for 5 won the toss elected to bat first and it was good decision hamid 66 of 31 sandeep singh 25 of 13 shanawas 20 of 17 and mohammad farooq picking up two wickets right and dubai in that run chase couldn't get uh, across the finishing line 141 is what they managed ronak panoli scoring 30 of 23 and ajman the pick of the bowler sultan three wickets for him ajman winning the game by 28 runs